Welcome to Short Scale Modeling. This is part 5 of AMT Star Trek USS Enterprise NCC 1701E. Scale is 1 to 1400. In this part, I'm going to be starting doing the planning for the lights and placing the lights into the saucer section. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. So I'm going to be putting in LED strip lights here. And what I've got this is a piece of plastic card and an LED strip light and I'm, all I'm doing here is measuring out the width of the, the light so I can cut out a strip so I'm just placing it against the plastic card making a little mark then I'll cut out the length that I need and I'll simply do this by scoring the plastic until it's deep enough just to snap off the strip of plastic as you can see there I have uh, two strips now the plan is for this to go around the inner part of the saucer section um, like that. So I'm just going to bend uh, around. Now the reason why uh, I'm putting in the lights this way instead of directly onto the saucer section itself is it's all to do with light economy and um, stability on of wiring these LED strips. Now these LED strips are notorious um, for uh, breaking the connection points with. Um, when you take the the, the sticky uh, tape off the back, sometimes it can actually lift up the, the circuitry of the light. So um, I've decided to, to back it up with just a little bit of the entire plastic card and place that directly on there with some super glue um, just to hold it in, in position before I start the soldering process. So it, you can see there the, the plastic backing and the brown part, the electronic part. Sometimes it can lift off. It depends how well the the glue is on that, and um, depending on where you bought your LEDs from, you know. And um, so this is just to to sort of negate that from happening. I'll just save a lot of heartache uh, down the line when lights don't work because they've came away uh, from the actual circuitry within the light. Before I put the lights in, I'm going to be putting in the um, impulse engines first of all. So I'm using micro crystal clear uh, PVA glue here, uh, it's a white clear glue, uh, around the house and just to receive the light. Now as I've said many times this stops the clear plastic from fogging. Um, when this goes on there's a sl slight lip on, on the part and it just should hit fit into the house. Now to be fair I should have painted the um, inside of that round black before I place this in. I just simply forgot to do it. Um, if I put, uh, get my phone up to it and put the, the light through, you can see it's sort of shining through a little bit. Now obviously that is quite a harsh light and uh, that, um, the LEDs will represent that as well. So that needs to be toned down a bit. So what I've got there is a piece of uh, sweet wrapper uh, and I'm going to be cutting this out and placing it over the actual clear plastic part. Now, it will change the colour slightly, but only slightly. And of course, you don't really have to paint the plastic part either if you're doing it this way. Uh, you would just have to double up the thickness to diffuse the colour. So again, I'm just using a little bit of the um, white glue to attach it. Obviously, I don't want to fog up the clear plastic part. But it is really worth keeping these uh, sweet wrappers um, if you've got a family member who eats a lot of them, my wife does, uh, you, you know, um, get them, or yourself even, to uh, keep the, the wrappers because they're very good for things like this, for changing colour tones and dulling down and diffusing uh, heat spots in, in inside the model when you've got it all lit up. Um, it's just a little thing I, I stumbled across uh, a few years ago when I was looking at different techniques, how to light something up. And um, uh, I quite like this idea. I, I've used it many times now. And uh, as I said, if I had a red one, I wouldn't have painted the the um, clear part at all. But the orange one um, will suffice, as I said, and I'll dull down the actual um, LED brightness. I should point out though, because I'm using the white glue, it will take a little bit longer to dry, but don't be tempted to use super glue or anything like that. The white glue is the way to go. 
So I'll just do a little of what I test again. And um, that is quite a good colour. Um, the, it's bouncing off the camera a bit, but it's a, a really good orangey red colour for the, the um, impulse drive. So it's back to the LED strips. It's uh, time to add a little bit of solder to each of the contact points on the LED strip. Now, if you haven't seen me um, do this before, there's, I've got many videos now with this process on it, um, and one dedicated video to how I wire up LED. So check that out if you if, if you're wondering how I I do it. Next, I'm putting in the um, actual wire itself into the contact points. Now. I've done enough to um, cover every single contact point on the LED strip. As you can see, there's um, three sets of three, so three, six, nine lights with a, a contact point in between each one. Now, I'm not necessarily going to be using all these, but at this stage, it's uh, wise just to give yourself more than you actually need. And if I don't need any, any, of, any of them, I'll just trim off the wires um, when it's time to tidy everything up. This just saves a lot of hassle and trouble when you're putting your lights and you think, oh, I need some more lights in this area here. So I'll uh, have to try and get some solder into it without melting the plastic. So it just um, negates all of that. So once both sides are done, and I'm just going to place uh, the two parts of the LED strips together. So the plastic card to the plastic card, and I'm just submitting it up in the normal way, like you would do with any uh, model kit. Clamp it in, just so I've got a nice tight fit. Now, it re probably will break a little bit, because I'm going to bend this. Um, obviously, that when, it, when you're creating a curve, um, one end is going to stretch out compared to the other end. But that's okay, as long as everything it stays whole in the main. And of course the, the the points are going to be secure as well. That's one of the main reasons I'm doing that. So it's actually the next day now that um, I'm doing this. I'm giving it overnight to dry. Um, it's early in the morning, so the, the sun's just coming up. Um, hence why the different light change in the video. So um, I'm just securing this onto the um, saucer section with um, a little bit of super glue uh, for now. I'm just going to see how well the super glue holds. Generally, on plastic and um, plastic, super glue doesn't hold that well. But I don't need a great bond. I just need it enough to stabilize. And if I feel that it's going to break away, I can always add a little bit of hot glue to it to stabilize it down the line. So as it stands for this side, I've got. Um, two strips of LEDs on each one side so the light will be coming uh, from one uh, from the middle uh, going to the well from the edge going to the middle and from the edge going to the actual um, leading edge of the soft section um, again this just uh, cuts out a lot of lights laying around on the soft section having to do the top and uh, the bottom and the top half of the soft section this way it's going to cover the entire area as well as the impulse engines. The only area not covered at the moment is the tip of soft section, but I'll be putting in another strip for that. So as you can see on the light test, everything is uh, starting to shine through. The I particularly do like the um, the, the the impulse engines. I love the orangey red glow that that's getting it achieved there. And as you can see. Um, all the windows and that that I want to be lit up are coming through. So now I'm just uh, going to make my uh, connections um, and, and tidy everything up. So I'm making the permanent connections. I'm using a little bit of wire sheath um, before I, I place them on just to make sure nothing's going to short out once it's all connected. Now, I was thinking about um, location lights and I, I don't have any flash location lights, LEDs left, so I was going to leave them off. But in the end, I decided uh, to place them in. Now, I did actually start snipping off my wire before I decided that. Um, but luckily, I've got enough um, connection points to sort that out. So I'm just coming to the end here with a tight of tidying everything up. And... Um, the next stage is to add the location lights and as well as the uh, a three strip LED just at the top where my hands are now just so that I've got a little bit more light 
going to at the top of the saucer section. So I've taken the outside uh, wire that uh, I've used um, that I've left on and I'm using my uh, connecting that to the three LEDs for the top and um, I'm just securing that with a little bit of super glue. I haven't put a, a, a backing on this and um, it's resting against the wire and it should be fine. Once that's in place I'm just going to be um, tying down all, all the cables so they're not loose, nothing will move and that's important. If you're doing this you may want to um, have the lights on while you're doing this so that you know nothing's shorting out as you press down on the wires. So I'm just uh, wiring up the locator lights now. So these are a 3mm LED. I'm just putting on the um, resistor before I wire everything up. So that's the red and green light LED and I didn't bother showing it because it's pretty much the same as wiring uh, everything else up. I've also put in um, a 5mm um, LED in the back there where the um, shuttle bay is. Um, just to give it a different colour. It will sort of look whitish anyway once everything's lit up. But it's just to give it a different tone from the, the warm white colour. And this is where I'm going to end part 5. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds. I'm sure there's something there by now for you to have a look at. If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date, not only with this build, but all my future builds as well. Of course, you can go there and check out the video how I uh, wire up these LEDs as well, um, if you're interested. Hit the like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course, you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.